how to draw actual graphs. Now, we are going to look at two types of graphs. One, we are going to look at how do we draw a linear, a linear graph. And then two, we are going to see how do we draw a quadratic, quadratic graph. Now, we have number of steps, okay? So first step, we are going to use what we call a table of value, table of values. If it is given, then you have to complete it and fill it. If it's not given, you get your equation and create your own table of values. Then after creating your own table of values and you have filled it properly, then step two, you have to plot the points on the grid. Plot the points on the grid. Remember, here we will use only dots because we have to draw a line or a curve. Then after plotting the points, we go to step three, join the points, join the points. Now in the joining here, it will be different. For the linear, we will join using a ruler, but for quadratic, we will join the points using free hand. We can call it free hand calving, free hand calving. So when you're doing the quadratic, we will never use a ruler to join the points. After you have joined the points, name your graph, name your graph. And what is the name? The original equation is the name of the graph. So we will name the graph that we have drawn. So we need to follow those four steps in order to draw our linear graphs and to draw our quadratic graph. So step one, we need to fill the table values. So here we have our table. We have two boxes there which are not completed. So we need to complete them. We are given X as one. So two X is one plus one. That is two plus one, three. So means this one is three. The next one is two brackets, two plus one, which is just five. So after filling the table value, step two, we need to plot these points. We need to plot the points. The first point here is negative one, negative one. So if you go to your grid, you can see the red dot, which is representing negative one, a negative one. Then the next point two here, point number two, is zero, one, which is there, zero, one. Next point three, which is one, three, one, three. The point will come here. The next point, which is the fourth point, two, five, two, five, which is there. Next point here, which is point five, is three, seven. Now this one is outside our range, so we can ignore it. Now, because you're drawing the linear graph, after plotting points, join them. For a linear graph, I remind you, you must use a ruler to join. Now, after you have joined with your ruler, it will appear like this. But it will be perfectly straight line. Then the last step, name your graph. So to name the graph, we will write the equation of the graph. Take note, always and always name your graph on the right hand side of your coordinate plane. Name your graph on the right hand side 
of your coordinate plane. Let's look at our next example. We have another linear graph here. We fill the table value. Here we have got negative one. So if we substitute negative one here, it will become positive one and we get seven. Zero there, if we substitute zero here, it will remain six. If we substitute one, it will be six minus one, six minus two, six minus three. So after you have filled the table value, start plotting your points. The first point is negative one, seven. Negative one, seven. There. The second point here is zero, six. Zero, six. The third point is one, five. The fourth point is two, four. And the last point is three, three. After you have plotted your points, since it is linear, what you do next is get your ruler. After getting your ruler, place it properly along the points and then join the points using your ruler because it's a linear graph. After you have joined using your ruler, then last step, you name the graph using the equation. I will remind you again, always name on the right hand side of the graph. So now let's see how we draw a quadratic graph. Step one, we follow the same procedure, fill the table of values. So we have two points here which are not filled. So I will substitute here minus one square plus three. That will give me one plus three, which is a four. So I will keep here a four. Then next I'll keep a two, two square plus three. So it will be four plus three, which is a seven. So I'll keep there a seven. Now I have completed my table values. So after I've completed my table values, I can now use the table values to, to plot the points, All right? So first point here, is negative two, seven. Negative two, seven here. Put the point. Second point is negative two, four. Negative one, four, which is there. Third point is zero, three, which is here. This is the second. This is the third. This is the fourth. Fourth point is one, four. There. And the fifth point is two, seven. Now I have plotted all my points. Remember, this is a quadratic graph. Because it is a quadratic graph, I cannot use a ruler. I must use free hand carving. So let's, let's carve now. I will have to use non-stop drawing. Non-stop. Non-stop, non-stop, like that. You must draw non-stop at all times. After I have joined the curve on my right hand side, I will name it. And that's how we draw a quadratic graph. Let's see our other example. Here we have got three points to complete. So first here, I have got negative one. So if I substitute negative one square plus negative one, I will get one minus one, which is zero. So I'll keep a zero there. The second one will be zero because zero square plus zero is zero. The last one I have a two. So it will be a two square plus a two, giving me a four plus a two, that will become 
uh, six. So now that I have filled the table values, I can plot these points. My first point, negative two, two. So I go negative two, I place at two. The second point is negative one, zero. I go at negative one, zero. My third point is zero, zero. I go at zero, zero. My next point, number four, is one, two. I keep at one, two. My next one is two, six. I keep at two, six. And my last point there is three, 12. I keep at three, 12. After I'm done with my plotting of the points, then I join the points. If you look properly at the curve here, the two points were on the same level, but I did not go straight. Meaning what? If you don't have the turning point, you are not allowed to go flat here because the curve will not be complete here. So even if the turning point is there, you must calm down. When you reach there, bend a bit down and go back up. You must have a certain bend there. This bend is very important because it completes the curve in the proper format. So this is how we draw a quadratic, a quadratic graph. 